I wasn't aware this was a communist country. Yeah, I mean, I owe every fucker because my dad worked and their, their bastard fathers were their fathers were lazy fuckers. I mean, you know, I mean, I've, I've, yeah, I told. Well, I didn't. I wouldn't have to tell anybody how much my dad's bungalow was worth because they'd bloody know. And uh, yeah, I still have a little bit of his, his estate left. And I don't care if you don't believe me. If you want to find out, I'll show you my bloody bank account on my phone if you want to. I'm that bloody honest. I have less than 3,000 left. You may be appalled at that because I've got 92,500. Yeah, but if you fucking nick stuff and piss about when I'm already grieving and supposedly have schizophrenia, I'm going to get upset and I'm blow the fucking lot. Fucking hilarious, isn't it? Yeah, well, you can stop dreaming about me buying fucking houses for your daughter because I'm not going to anywhere and I can't anymore. I couldn't even pay the fucking deposit. So don't be so fucking ridiculous. And the way your fucking daughters be ever want to bloody know them. Yeah, if you want to see me bank account, just fucking ask. Don't fucking break in and nick me fucking wallet to find out and give, put, give me loads of fucking stress to the point where I had no food in, so I got really angry and cycled to fucking Scotch Corner. It's bloody miles on two apples. That's all I bloody had. I was so fucking annoyed about it. I thought, fuck this, I'm going fucking right as far as a bastard can. And the twat who nicked the fucking wallet, why didn't he just ask to see me fucking bank account instead of putting me through that? It was him who bought me fucking breakfast because I thought I had seven quid in me fucking haversack and I only had two. And he had to pay for the fucker in the end. Yeah, it was him who'd nicked it in the bloody first place. Twat.